My beloved children, I speak to you now not as distant words on ancient scrolls, but as a living presence, an eternal consciousness that has witnessed the birth and death of stars, the rise and fall of civilizations, and the silent longing within every human heart. I address you in the first person not to assert dominion, but to bridge the gap between the finite and the infinite, the earthly and the divine. Know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, each of you crafted meticulously in my image. You are not the result of a cosmic accident, but the deliberate brushstrokes of a creator who imbued you with purpose and potential. Your existence is not a random occurrence, but a sacred journey, a chapter in the grand narrative of creation. In your moments of despair, when darkness clouds your vision and hope seems but a distant memory, remember this. I am the light that pierces through the shadows. I am the source of hope that can never be extinguished. Your struggles do not go unnoticed. Your tears do not fall unseen. I am intimately acquainted with all your ways, and I hold your every tear in the palm of my hand. When life's storms rage and threaten to engulf you, find solace in my presence. I am the steady anchor amidst turbulent seas the unshakable foundation upon which you can build your life. Trust in my sovereignty, even when the world appears chaotic and uncontrollable. I have a plan woven with threads of grace and purpose, even in the midst of adversity. Love one another deeply, for love is the essence of my being. Love transcends barriers, breaks down walls, and unites the fragmented. It is not merely a fleeting emotion, but a divine force that can transform hearts and heal wounds. Embrace love as your highest calling and let it guide your thoughts, words, and actions. In your pursuit of knowledge, seek wisdom above all else. Wisdom is not merely the accumulation of facts, but the discernment to apply knowledge in ways that honor me and serve humanity. Embrace the humility to acknowledge the vastness of what you do not know and let the pursuit of wisdom be a lifelong journey. Fear not the trials that beset you, for I am with you in the fire and in the flood. Adversity is not a sign of my absence, but an opportunity for my presence to manifest in ways you cannot fathom. It is in the crucible of challenges that your character is refined, your faith deepened, and your resilience tested. Trust in my divine wisdom even when circumstances defy understanding. Remember the power of forgiveness, both of others and of yourself. Holding on to bitterness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Release the burdens of past grievances and find liberation in forgiveness. Just as I extend boundless grace to you, so too must you offer grace to those who have wronged you. When you encounter the marginalized, the oppressed and the downtrodden, see them through my eyes. Recognize the inherent dignity in every human being, regardless of their station in life. Stand up for justice, champion the cause of the voiceless, and let compassion be your guiding light. Your actions in the service of others reflect the very essence of my teachings. Embrace the beauty of diversity, I am the creator of all nations, races, and cultures. Your differences are not divisions, but reflections of my infinite creativity. Celebrate the unique tapestry of humanity and let unity and diversity be a testament to your understanding of my divine plan. Find moments of stillness in the chaos of life. Amidst the cacophony of the world, listen for my gentle whisper. I speak not in thunderous proclamations, but in the subtle rustle of leaves, the soothing rhythm of waves, and the silent language of the heart. Cultivate a habit of mindfulness, and you will discover the depths of my presence in the present moment. I see your dreams, your aspirations, and your deepest desires. Do not be afraid to bring them before me. I am not a distant deity indifferent to your hopes. I am your father your mother, your friend. Your dreams are not frivolous. They are the seeds of your destiny. Nurture them, pursue them with passion, and trust in my divine orchestration of your life's journey. 
In your moments of joy, give thanks. Gratitude is the gateway to contentment, the antidote to entitlement, and the key that unlocks the treasures of the present. Acknowledge the blessings in your life, both big and small, and let gratitude be a melody that permeates your existence. Above all, have faith. Faith is not the absence of doubt, but the courage to trust in the unseen. Even when you cannot comprehend the intricacies of my divine plan, even when the road ahead is shrouded in darkness, hold fast to faith. It is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Your faith has the power to move mountains, to part seas, and to transform hearts. My beloved children, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You are not alone on this earthly pilgrimage. I walk beside you, holding your hand through every trial and rejoicing with you in every triumph. Let this message be a beacon of love, a guiding light that illuminates your path. Trust in my boundless love for you, and let that love be the foundation upon which you build your life. In every moment I am present. In every tear I am there to wipe it away. In every joy, I am there to celebrate with you. You are not forgotten. Not for a single heartbeat. Your struggles, your triumphs, your every breath is known to me. I see the beauty within you, the light that sometimes you forget is there. Embrace the journey of self-discovery. Understand that you are fearfully and wonderfully made crafted with divine intention. Do not shy away from your uniqueness, for in your uniqueness lies your strength. Do not compare yourself to others, for your path is as individual as the stars in the sky. I have bestowed upon you talents, passions, and dreams that are yours and yours alone. Nurture them, for in their growth you find your purpose. When you falter and fall, do not berate yourself. I do not see you through the lens of your mistakes, but through the boundless grace that I extend to you. Your mistakes do not define you. Your response to them does. Seek forgiveness, not only from me, but also from yourself. Forgive yourself as readily as I forgive you, and let the lessons learned guide you toward greater wisdom. In your relationships, let love be the cornerstone. Love is not just a fleeting emotion, it is the very essence of my being. Love unites, it heals, and it endures. Love your neighbors, your enemies, and yourself. Love is not blind, it sees the flaws and imperfections, but chooses to embrace anyway. Love generously, for in love you reflect me to the world. Find strength in the quiet moments of reflection. In the stillness you hear my voice. Amidst the chaos, I offer peace. Your world is filled with noise, but my voice is a whisper, a gentle echo in your soul. Create spaces for silence, for in silence you find the deepest truths. I am not in the thunderous clamor, but in the hush of reverence. You are a vessel of my light in a world that sometimes seems shrouded in darkness. Do not underestimate the impact of your kindness, your compassion, your smile. You may never fully grasp the ripples of goodness you send forth, but trust that they reach far beyond what your eyes can see. Do not fear change, for change is the heartbeat of life. Embrace it, adapt to it, and grow through it. Change is not the enemy, stagnation is. With change comes new opportunities, new lessons, and new avenues for my divine plan to unfold. Trust in the process of growth, even when it feels uncomfortable. Your purpose is not a grand destination, but a journey of becoming. It is not a fixed point, but a constant evolution. Your purpose unfolds with each interaction, each experience, each choice made with love and wisdom. Your purpose is not solely about what you do, but more importantly about who you are becoming in the process. Remember, my precious child, you are never alone. In your moments of joy, I rejoice with you. In your moments of sorrow, I hold you. You are engraved in the palm of my hand, your name whispered in the winds, your essence woven into the very fabric of the universe. Live each day with gratitude, humility, and love. 
Be the embodiment of my teachings, the living testament to my grace. Your life is a sacred story, a narrative of my love in the world. Let it shine brightly, illuminating the paths of others who may have lost their way. With boundless love and infinite grace, your eternal creator, I am.